chocolate cake, and I had a chicken and dress and a ham. Now, cake. when was this? Oh, when your mama was three years I, old. I was about two and a half. We okay. lived in California, but we were coming back to Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. That was our plan. Mm -hmm. So, but it was Easter, and back then I always observed Easter. You know, which church mm -hmm. I could get there. So anyway, down on the little pond, it wasn't, oh, it wasn't very big, but was this Mama Duck, and she had these babies following her, you know. But that's not the one, I, well, I guess it was too. But anyway, standing there on the banks was this horse with the, the dead Indian leaning over him, mm -hmm. and he, he didn't have anything on, uh, but... Uh, of course, he was just framed in, uh, but chicken wire. You remember the chicken wire? Mm -hmm. And the kids were just playing around him, and I said, Stop that. That, is, that thing is like a fall over and kill you. So I went up to him and got a hold of him and shook him, but I could see it wasn't, wasn't going to fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where it come from. It's called End of the Trail. Mm -hmm. End of the Trail. The one they have at the Cowboy Hall. Mm -hmm. And when we got ready to go home, the kid, <laughs> anyway, your dad is sitting there and I come back up there, I could see that, that uh, the water wouldn't, wasn't deep enough to really drown anybody. Your dad said, boy, I want you to come back here before these old women kill me. <laughs> They'd come by and look and say, i never seen so much food in my life. I wonder who, who they're going to feed now. I come almost saying, well, why don't you try getting in the kitchen and cook some of it? <laughs> I never offered them a bite of nothing. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the kids come in, and I fed them dinner, and then we all had an Easter egg hunt. But we wasn't nowhere to go, and we just, Affleck and Hubert showed up, and uh, we just stayed out there and visited and talked and stuff like that. But actually, the, the people were, I think, in the notion of taking that food away from me. Hmm. Yeah, the people weren't that hard up. They just lazy. But anyway, we got ready to go home. I don't know which one it was, but one of them said, "Now, Mama, can the little duck is all alone? His mama's gone." Well, that was true. And can we take him home with us? And I said, "Oh no!" I said, "She'll come back and get him." Well, one of them started. I think it's Arnie. Started pestering me. I said, "Okay." If he's still here when we leave, and we'll probably stay a long time, no nothing else to do, well, you can take him home with you. A little bitty thing. Mm -hmm. Probably the last of the, the, you know, of the litter. So they played in the pond, got all wet naturally, you know, and played around this horse and this dying, ending the end of the trail, you know. Now they got him out here in the Cowboy Hall of Fame. But I got to go out there and tell them where I'd seen him first. They opened their mouth about, <laughs> about like that. I said, you might as well believe it because it's the truth. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, Mooney's Grove, do you remember that? <gasps> oh, yeah, I remember that. Mooney's Grove, that's where he, uh, that's where he that's was. a little park, mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, <laughs> it come almost sundown. And uh, I said, okay, you can have the duck. So they, Arnie just reached down and picked him up. Well, we kept that duck, and he was 12 years old when we went to Louisiana, and he was still alive. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know they lived that long, but they do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. So how, how did he die? Oh, I don't know. Didn't I he freeze you know, to death? We, we, you know, we moved. Didn't he freeze to death at Burbank? No, not even, I don't think so. They yeah. slept in the barn. Mm -hmm. You know, they always could get in the barn. I was thinking he Yeah, well, Ed and Zila moved there, so I don't know what happened. And uh, the boys, had, it was a grown man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I kind of remember he froze. He got old. And well, he, he, that could have been so. He had a bad I, I just can't say for sure. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that's where she come from, and that's how long they, they played with her. Well, they was real good to her, and, and uh, Arnie had a special name he called. Squawker. We called her Squawker. Remember? I forget just what Squawker. it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember it. But anyway, I never will forget, because they'd 
come by there and I, I went ahead and ate, and your dad had ate, after and Hubert had already ate. Mm -hmm. So oh, uh, they just look at me and just make some kind of insulting remark <laughs> towards your dad. I said, the next time one comes by here, and gives me that dirty look, I'm just gonna raise up off this bench and suck her one. Just, just as hard as I can. Your dad said, well, I mean, Charles said, well, they'll take you to jail. I said, okay, <laughs> let them take me, I don't care. And it was, it, it was hard times, but nobody was trying to do anything, you know. Uh, you could cut grapes 30, uh, 30 cents an hour, that wasn't a bad job. Anybody about go along and trim off a grape, you know, down the road. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't nobody work. They were getting federal money. No, Fed what what year was this? Oh. 35, 1937, 38, yeah. 37 probably. But we never missed a meal. We ate. We lived in a tent a while. Well, it was poor and then rain down. But we had plenty to eat for breakfast. You could get pink salmon, I mean the real pink salmon, uh, about 30 cents a can, and it'd make enough, put, put an egg or two in it, it'd make enough fried patties, which are very good, uh, and I'd make that with a bowl of gravy, or scrambled eggs if any of the kids wanted them, eggs, and eggs were cheap, about a dime a dozen. I never found anybody starving. And that was during the Depression. Oh, yeah. 1935.